Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. How y'all doing? Welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Okay, let's do a little housekeeping here, y'all, for y'all. Um, why don't, uh, so we can get to know each other a little better on a personal level. Why don't y'all shout out when you make a comment, shout out and tell me um, where you from? Uh, what side of the diaspora are you listening to the mental house on? I would really appreciate that. Um, let us just know what's up, how you guys are doing, and what side you know what side of the diaspora that you are on. I would really appreciate it. You know, uh, if it doesn't uh, take too much of your time up, how about you like the video and share it if you possibly can. That would also do me um, a world of good. Okay, with that being said, again, the housekeeper, if you want to donate to the channel, is dollar sign Khadija 59. That's dollar sign Khadija 59. If you want to email me, please, by all means, go to mentalhousetv at gmail.com. That's mentalhousetv at gmail.com. And um, I'm looking, I'll am looking. i be looking forward to uh, conversing with you. Uh, so, um, take advantage of that. Also, you can give me a call at area code 414-240. Oh, Lord, why did I even say that? I can't remember the number. Um, 240, what did they say, 4073? Um, uh, I'll figure, I'll figure, uh, I'll figure that, that, that phone number out in one second. Um, but there's a lot of ways that we can be in touch with one another. I hope the two minute mark is off. There's a lot of ways for us to be in touch with one another. Let's just take advantage of it. And, um, the number is 204-4173. Again, that number is area code 414-204-4173. All right, let's get to the story at hand. Um, I don't know how y'all feel about this story because, you know, this is just what the people are going to, uh, uh, what, what they were afraid of. And they wanted to know if we had a, a safeguard plan against this craziness and this madness right here. Um. And this is something that happened. Uh, that that's that's really crazy. It happened in Virginia, I guess. Uh, but let me share the story with you. Um, woke Loudoun County prosecutor is blasted for helping jail dad, whose daughter was raped by a boy in a skirt in a girl's bathroom, and defends decision to send her attacker to another school after. Damn, he struck again. Where he struck again. Scott Smith, a 48-year-old plumber from Virginia, was arrested on June 22nd. He had been protesting um, at a Loudoun County School Board meeting. Smith was dragged out of the room before he could share his point. He says his daughter was sexually assaulted on May 28th by a boy in the girl's bathroom. Loudoun County Commonwealth attorney pushed to have Smith jailed for the outburst despite being pro-criminal justice reform. She also defended her decision to back sending an alleged attacker to another school in the district where he allegedly molested another girl. Oh, my goodness. A Virginia County, she's running into, as y'all could figure, a lot of opposition, a lot of a lot of um, disgruntled people with this right here. So what happened was a Virginia prosecutor who ran on ending mass incarceration in jails pushed to have a father who was dragged out of the Lubbock County School Board meeting jail on two misdemeanor charges despite him claiming that his daughter had been raped. Scott Smith 
was photographed on June 22nd being arrested and dragged out of the heated meeting with his torso exposed. Uh, well, they don't give a damn about that. Mm. Um, I've seen them arrest people with their breasts exposed. You talking about torso? That's lucky. Um, Scott Smith, uh, because he protested the transgender policies. The 48-year-old plumber was ridiculed on social ridiculed on social media and was painted by the left to be a deranged right-wing bigot. And London County, London County Commonwealth Attorney Buda Bidgeraz pushed to have Smith jailed for his outburst. Despite her own progressive stance on avoiding incarceration, Convicted criminal whenever it was possible. Uh, her name is Attorney Buddha Liberash. Last week it was revealed he was trying to tell the room that his 15 year old daughter had been raped by a boy wearing a skirt in the girl's bathroom at Stonebridge High School only weeks earlier. The boy, who was also 15, was then removed to Broad Run High School with the support of Bibberash, where he is said to have molested another student. The unnamed youngster is currently in juvenile detention awaiting his next court appearance. And actually, that's what should have happened to him the first time when he molested the girl. And this is a problem. In this culture where people do things, uh, whether it's a child um, or whether it's an adult, the fact that it matters, nobody is being made to be accountable for their actions except for black people, <laughs> brown people, especially right off the bat. They don't get these kind of chances. I mean, this is a molestation and then you send them to another school. And this is a severe crime. I mean, how do you think that girl's family feel? You said, because clearly he wasn't transgender. Clearly, you know, there's going to always be people that's going to take advantage of situations. So, because there's going to be people that's going to come out and say, yeah, yeah, see, that's why I told you. That's why. And yeah, because there's always people everywhere that's going to take advantage of a bad situation. Always. Never have failed the human nature and it never will. That's what we do. In an interview with the Daily Wire, London County Commonwealth Attorney Buda Liberja also described a progressive elected county prosecutor who had run uh, for their position campaigning to end mass incarceration, and she had pushed for jail time against Smith, who was slapped with charges of disorderly conduct and resisting arrest. I mean, they beat this dude up. His mouth is bloody and everything. Um, I mean... The idea that they would actually be seeking jail time, I guess in my 15 years, the number of times that I've seen that happen would be zero, Elizabeth Lancaster said. The idea that this person who we need to put in the cage was astounding to me, given the social justice reform she was pushing. I was blown away. Smith was given a suspended sentence of 10 days in jail. Uh, contingent on the year of good behavior. The 15-year-old student was charged in the case with two counts of forcible sodomy and later arrested. The team was fitted with an ankle monitor and also transferred to another school where he later was accused of sexual assault against another female student in October. He is now in a juvenile court detention. Okay, well, clearly he is a sexual deviant. Clearly, he is uh, a rapist. Clearly, he has mental issues. And there is no way in the world you should have just uh, rebuffed that off by sending him somewhere else and making him somebody else's problem. You know, Tracy always said, um, you know, why would you have, there's a lot of people that have children, you know, who are, um, get out of hand. And... She was have she always would say to me, Why would I send my kid to my mother and my child is giving me problems? See, and and, and so that just gonna exasperate the problem. 
So this, in other words, this school had a problem with this dude. And instead of dealing with it, heads on, they sent it somewhere, swept it under the rug, and there it is. The same ugly behavior manifests itself again. That's what happened with the police department. That's what happened with anybody, the uh, po you know, political scene, anybody that you are not willing to hold accountable for the behavior. is This is what it breeds. This is what it breeds. Now, this lady, Barbarize, defended the decision to move the student to a different school, stressing that the choice was made based on information at the time and the view that it was unlikely the team would reoffend. How did you get that? How? See, that's what I would want. What, what, what tangible uh, uh, facts and components made you derive at that uh, situation? Are you a psychiatrist? Are you a uh, therapist? We believe based on the facts that he had no history of having done this prior to this offense that was alleged. I would ask this for people to be patient because we know that sometimes uh, is re a reporter initially is not what the end results are of all the facts. She made no further comment on what those additional facts are. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. This man was only trying to stick up for his daughter and got thrown in jail. And I find that just highly insulting. Smith says that Loudoun County schools went out of their way to protect the child of a sexual predator. And the school hasn't commented on that. It has been so hard to keep my mouth shut and wait this out. It has been the most powerless thing I've ever had to do is the most powerful powerless thing I've ever been through, he said. My wife and I are gay and lesbian friendly, but this is not different. We're not into this children transgender stuff. The person that attacked our daughter is apparently bisexual and occasionally wears dresses because he likes them. So this kid is technically not what the school board was fighting about. Uh, the point is kids are using it as an advantage to get into the bathrooms. This is really some sick type of shit. And it's going to have to be dealt with. I mean, it really is. It's going to have to be dealt with and and because because it can't go on the way it is. Anyway, I want to know what y'all think. That's just my opinion. What do y'all think? Do you think that this is an isolated incident or do you think that this is something that has the possibility to have uh, happening more and more given the circumstances and the uh, ability I mean, the inability to for school board and all other kind of institutions to hold people accountable and responsible for what they do. OK, and let you hide behind all types of stuff. I just wonder what y'all think. If you like what you hear, please like uh, subscribe and share the video and I'm going to see you in the next one.